today we are going to make a peacock uh, first we are going to draw the peacock okay how we are going to draw it from the center in the center i'm going to use uh, my pencil sharpened pencil and i'm going to make a circle how to make a circle first you will make a c and then a uh, ulta c like this after making the circle I'll make a small circle for the eye inside of it. I'm going to make two triangles, one and two. Now I'm going to make a dotted line from here, and I'm going to make another circle. This is my circle number one. I'm going to make another circle, which will be my circle number two, somewhere here, which will be a little bigger than the circle number one. In this way. Try drawing it freehand instead of using bottle caps. Then we are going to just make one line here and one more line like this, and joining my peacock in this way. I'm going to erase this, and I'm going to erase this line as well. After I have made this. I'm going to make the legs one line like this. This is almost like a alphabet V, and one more line like this. Now I'm going to just make it like this because I don't have much of space. So just in this way. Now I'm going to make. I'm going to use curvy lines and draw the backside of my peacock. Please see, and you have to make it free hand in this way. The curves should be nice and in circular form. In this way, I'm going to now I'm going to use triangular lines for making grass. In this way, this is optional. If you don't want to draw, it is up to you. Now I'm going to use a black sketch pen for making the outline of this drawing. Now after making the outline of this, we are going to color this peacock uh, from here. Only this part, okay, with the light blue and a dark blue color. Now here I'm using light blue color, and on the top I'm going to use a dark blue color. I am using oil pastel colors. If you don't have oil pastel colors, you can use some other color. You can use pencil colors or um, crayon. Now from here I'm going to mix a little bit of dark green color. In this way. we have color. Now beak I'm going to color. And in the grass again, light green and dark green. We are going to mix light green and dark green color in the grass. Like top of this will be light green, and the lower part will be dark green. After you have colored the grass, our drawing will be completed, and we are going to continue this drawing in our next class.